Hey guys, how are you? Nice and early in the morning, people are getting up already. I'm really excited. Let's go out and meet the crew. I'm just gonna go off and have some breakfast, guys. Pete the Surferu here at the Nimbin Mardi Gras. Check you soon, yeah. Hi guys, how you going, mate? Mate Wazza here. I'm Harry. We're, we're the barbecue guys, aren't we, mate? Yeah, mate, we're cooking up a bit of a food for the festival. Yeah, it's day. The third day here, yeah, third, yeah, third day, day, third, yeah. day, third yeah. last day, yeah. We've got the big parade coming up around yeah, about in about two, two o'clock, o'clock. yeah. yeah. Oh, my mind's a bit blank at the moment, you know, it's just nimb and air. But we've got some great tucker here, mate. What do we got? Steak, snags, eggs, yeah. The, the old sausage. Now, the girls up here, they like the, their meat, so we've got steak and sausages here. I'm just going to serve some of the guys here. Now, if you ever come down to nimb and this is a place to be, you know. It's free, great, very fresh air. It was really cold last night, so we need a hot meal. I'm just going to serve our customers here. Here we go, love. Thank you. How are we doing? Great food, good stuff. Have a great day here at Nimbin. Yeah, man. Yo, wow. Nimbin. Hey dudes, <laughs> it's a sparkly. We're here with Max Stone yeah, and Mr. Hempy. <laughs> How are you guys? Good, mate. <laughs> it's all sparkling. I don't know if it's my eyes or is it for real. <laughs> it's all happening. Now, this is what you call the end of the bar at the hemp bar. Now, what goes on down this end, mate? Anonymous things go on anonymously. Redacted, redacted, redacted. Today, yep. we've mostly been. Um, Singing the marijuana song. Did you hear it out there on the street? Today? Mate, I was in there. I was singing with you guys. Yeah. Mar Even was the crowd. Marijuana. 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 Oh wow! Yeah. How's that for sinking? Yeah. Well, man, we could go and <laughs> we, we could become famous. <laughs> The three yeah. brothers, yeah. the three brothers well, it of the three of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, mate. <laughs> It'd be a great crowd if there were three of us. Yeah. Now, we're expecting a really huge crowd here for the big festive week. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Every, every, every year. Every year it's big. It's good. It's good, yeah. Hmm. Well, it's actually the largest gathering of cannabis law reform activists in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a gathering of all the people who think every day about changing the law. That's why they all come here. It's also, if you think about it, it's all about flowers. It's a, fl it's a collection of people who grow flowers, who like to smell flowers. But some people like to stick the flowers up their bottoms, <laughs> like they did today at the Hashtag Suppositorium, <laughs> which we held in the street, which I'm sure is earlier on in the footage that you're seeing now, which is pretty good footage, he said, breaking the fourth wall. But there we go. 
<laughs> Actually, I was there when they were giving them out. So those people out there wondering what they were, they were really suppositories that you stick up your bum bum. Well, not necessarily up the bottom because the other thing, yeah, Mark was a senatorial candidate who was handing them out. Now, you could eat them as well because they were made with cacao butter, of course. Oh, yes, very so, healthy. Well, only half of the crowd, I think, went for the bottom and I think the other half of the crowd ate them. <laughs> but I think, although there might still be some in people's pockets. Okay. Yeah. But I think there'll be a lot of happy people out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there'll be plenty of happy people out there. Sure. As always, the pockets of the squeamish will be full. <laughs> His eyes were wide when you told him what a suppository was. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful thing. But don't worry, tomorrow will be even more suppositoryly correct because everybody will have a night on the suppositories, won't they? Sounds good, mate. Well, smooth runny poos in the morning, nice <laughs> and easy. No square corners like you get with pharmaceutical drugs. No, my nana told me. She would spend all night long on the toilet and she said they were square. And she blamed her medication, which, which, which was, of course was cortisone. Square poos. Yeah, watch out for them, people. Watch you out want nice, them. squidgy poos. Hemp food dye will do that for you. That's it. It is it. Well, there's, there's more to it than that. this. You've got to, you know, get online. Do some Googling, yep. learn, all of that stuff. Suss yeah. it all out, guys. Yeah. Bigjoint.org is a very good place to start your understanding <laughs> of what we're go. trying to do. There you go, just swung that one in there. <laughs> okay. Well, I well, didn't say Big Bong, did I? <laughs> I didn't say Nimbin-Marijuana-March.420-Web-Hosting, did I? No, I did not. We know them all. Well, listen, guys. I hope that everybody is, who's watching this yep. knew who I was when I turned up. Yep, they will now. Well, you know, <laughs> how, bi how big is our audience? Is our audience is Mum? all Australia Hello and to his New mother Zealand. and New Zealand. Hello to, hello to all your cousins, all the yes. cousins. Yeah. All the Coomera. Coomera? Yeah. Where's Coomera, the sweet potato. New Zealand. New Zealand? Yes, New Zealand. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Sucks, you know, six and six and oh. seven and dance and grant. I know that there are many good people in New Zealand. Many, many. Yeah, I had a no. great experience over there. Two and a half years I toured over there. Never met a bad one. Haven't you? No. Do you know what? All the bad ones I met claim to be Australians, the bastards. <laughs> well, guys, we've got to get out of here, check out some more here, the Festive Spirits. Guys, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Yeah, yeah. And don't worry, we'll, we'll come back when he hasn't found as many oh, interesting yeah. people as we are. We might come back again. Of course you'll come yes. back. It's the hemp at bar. the end of the bar, you know where you yeah. find him. There he is. Max See you soon, guys. Yeah, yeah, from the radical fringe of the Australian Cannabis Law Reform, signing out. <laughs> See you, <ya>, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Pete the Surfer Roo. I hope you're enjoying this big episode at the Nimbin Mardi Gras. We're sort of wandering away just into the festive spirits, but a little bit about hemp, which I don't know much about. I've got our public relations officer, Richard, here. Richard, how are you? Thank you. Good, good. Thank you. Now, Richard is going to go through the whole process with me, starting from what, Rich? We're starting uh, from the plant, uh, from, 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 the, from the buds to the seeds, uh, to some building products uh, and to food uh, as a, as a, and supplements um, of the whole plant. We're using the whole plant as a, a resource uh, to green the planet and, and uh, he, he, I, I call it heal the planet with, help, with hemp. Sounds great. Now, a lot of stuff I didn't know. Really good for all those fitness physiques out there. They want to get heaps of protein. Didn't know hemp had so much protein, but we'll get into that later on. Richard, I reckon we should go for a tour of the hemp farm, check out the plant, and then we'll do the process, mate. What do you reckon? Let's go. Let's do it, guys. Come and join us. Yeah. Whoa. Woohoo. Uh, welcome to the Nimbin uh, Hemp Barn, uh, the home of the Nimbin uh, past herd and seed uh, co-op. Uh, we're going to give you a bit of an introduction into industrial uh, um, hemp and uh, in, in its many uses and uh, give you a bit of a, a look around on all the opportunities that will come up in the future uh, for people to take part in the hemp industry. In our hemp field uh, in Nimbin, part of a, a co-op uh, where we're trying to prove uh, the variable uses of the hemp plant uh, from, from the, the, the tips to the heads to the roots of the plant. Now, what, what, we, what we're doing here, we're growing about one and a half uh, acres, uh, which should be enough to grow your own home. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to prove the concept of uh, being able to grow your own home in 100 to 120 days. I'll start with explaining the, the various functions of the plant to you first. When we talk about heads, we're talking about the flower parts of, of the plant. Uh, every, every flower has got the head leaves and stuff. 
if if you uh, on a hemp farm uh, you'll be using the whole the whole part of the plant in the difference with with uh, 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 marijuana and ganja where they're just uh, trimming all the things off and you're just dealing with the little buds and heads on there in our case we're going to use the whole plant as a, as, as a plant extract or a plant supplement um, the, the head leaves, so these ones here, they're basically the solar panels of the plant which make the plant grow prolifically. This plant here has been planted on the 22nd of December. It is now the 6th of, of May. So as you can see, it's an extremely fast growing plant with very little supervision, very little uh, or no chemicals, it's fully organic with uh, no herbicides, no pesticides. Uh, so far, we've been very lucky. We've got a couple of caterpillars that uh, turn up every now and so often, which is a bit hard to, hard to avoid when you're outdoor, uh, but in general the plants are doing really, really well. well going back to, to, to the different uh, uses of the plant, so the, the, the head leaves is something that people can take and choose in their, in their breakfast uh, uh, teas or you can choose it as a, as as a, a supplement, uh, which basically just helps you uh, with, with your uh, digestive system and your, your general wellness and happiness and hempiness. The branches and stuff uh, they, they generally grow uh, fairly heavy, sometimes you have to support them. We grow fairly small plants so we didn't do any support at all, they're holding themselves up very, very well. The centre of the plant is, 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 is the stalk, uh, it contains on the outside is a fine layer of fibres which we also call bast uh, or, or bust and then the inside is the herd which is basically the woody part of the plant. The root at the bottom, uh, marijuana and cannabis plants have got a, a large tap root which goes down into, into the subsoil, brings up the, the minerals uh, to the surface, uh, first of all to feed the plants. Uh, you can then leave the, the roots in the, in, in the ground and, and work them into it, it remineralizes the, the, the ground. Uh, or you can use it in, in things like uh, uh, Chinese uh, or, or just uh, alternative uh, medicines as well because it's got lots of uh, C CBDs in the, in the root system as well. So uh, you can basically use the root, you can use the stalk, you can use the, the, the leaves and the plant uh, in, in several different uh, products and several different things to, to, to give you uh, a greater return on your, on your harvest. In a bud or in a flower I will actually pull this one off. It's a bud, got leaves on there as well. On the bud in, in particular we've got these little uh, thing what we call trichomes. And trichomes, yeah, different components of, of, of the cannabis plants in it. Uh, their main function as a plant is actually to attract the, the male pollen. Uh, once a male pollen flies past it, it goes into, into the trichomes, it then starts producing a seed and then the plant starts to produce uh, uh, all the goodness uh, and puts the, all the goodness into, into the seed. Now when you're growing for hemp, you do want to plant uh, to, to produce seeds because we are uh, making seed products. Uh, we're also using seed for the next crop but we also, um, uh, after the trichomes and everything as, as, a, as a supplementary uh, component uh, to, to, to the plant that we can use in our products. The trichomes are uh, normally in a white stage uh, up until uh, closer to the harvest where they're starting to go a little red and uh, you can see a couple of those ones on there starting to go red. I think these plants are going to be ready in a couple of days for harvesting. Also, we, we, we're trying to prove from the supplementary uses that the plant can also help us with building materials, it can help us with, with clothing, plastics, uh, we're making batteries now with, with uh, hemp, hemp uh, charcoal, uh, we, we're making um, uh, different, different building products of, of, of it, we're making uh, things that can be sprayed on, we can make things that make bricks, we can make panels, we can make all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's a very new um, process, a new way of thinking because it's been suppressed for quite some time. But in the old days, uh, you know, two, three hundred years ago, my grandfather grew hemp in Hungary uh, and, and so did my uncle. Uh, my my uh, relatives in Canada grew hemp in the old days before it all got, got uh, illegalized or, or demonized by some, some people uh, in the plastics industry. Uh, I'm a tool maker by trade, so I do work with plastics. I would like to work with hemp plastics in the future rather than with uh, ABS and uh, 
and, and uh, all the other, other stuff. Uh, welcome to the Hempan. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of all the things we're doing uh, inside and trying to prove, uh, including uh, harvesting uh, some, some of our product and also then the, 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 the uses uh, in products and, and some of the stuff uh, that comes off, off the plant. Okay, Dan and Anita. Um, are cutting cutting uh, the the green matter off of the stalks and and uh, and the branches. Uh, they'll be going into a drying rack which is behind us, uh, and uh, they'll be dehumidified and uh, dried uh, for for seed uh, extractions. And um, after the seed uh, extractions, we're going to use the whole plant material uh, for some supplement infusions uh, for pets and supplements. As you can see, uh, it's a very laborious uh, process uh, doing it this way. Uh, in, a, in a large scale, you'll be using a combine harvester with a header uh, and, and uh, some serious machinery, which of course costs millions of dollars, which we have not got at this stage. Uh, so we're just growing uh, uh, trees and uh, some of the trees, uh, some of the leftover of the trees, the branches and the, and the stems will be able to go into building materials uh, and also uh, into, into fibers uh, that we are going to use for weaving and, and other, other parts. We got a, a testimony uh, this morning from a lady who's used uh, some of Anita's uh, products uh, on her pet dog and we'd just like to highlight how much uh, usefulness uh, hemp uh, and hemp supplements can be for your pets, your goldfish, your hamster, your cat and your dog, and your Grammy, and your grandchildren as well. So if, if I can get Anita just to read that thing for us. Hi Anita, I just wanted to say thank you. It was a rough morning for my old dog. She was travelling along okay on her journey until this morning when she started to shake like a seizure coming and her jaw had locked. I know she was in a lot of pain by this stage. After her drops, she stopped shaking and the jaw relaxed, and so did she. I've given her drops three times now, and she's sleeping peacefully. Thanks again for helping with her transition. Well, that's the sort of thing uh, that uh, they'll be getting back from, from, from it in, on, on, a, on a regular base. Hemp and, and animals is, is, is a future of the hemp industry as well. It's another, another side sideline, a sort of uh, a side arm where people are concentrating on uh, with, with race horses, food and, and even feed, feed the chickens, feed the, feed, the, feed the cows and everything like that, which is fully legal and now uh, with, with certain still certain restrictions uh, uh, onto it, but hopefully one day they'll get rid of all those stupid restrictions and just let us do what this plant can actually pos possibly do for all of us, including our pets. Okay, once uh, the, the, the buds or the flowers have been pulled off, uh, we end up with a stalk, uh, which can be all, all different shape and sizes. Uh, we've got some of them, have still got the leaves on here. Uh, this is a modified chaff cutter uh, that Dan modified for us to, to, to make uh, building materials out of. So a byproduct of, of, the, of our production will be uh, wood chips uh, with the stalks. It has two components. It's got the fibers and the, and the woody part in the middle. Uh, you can see this in the inside is, the, is the, what we call the herd. On the outside is called the best. Now this is called, uh, this is the fibers, which uh, in the dried form turns into something like this. Uh, which has been made into ropes and clothing and all, all, all sorts of things. The, the one part that we're doing here uh, is we, we using hemp as part of our building a machine and insulating a machine. So this is, this is what you buy uh, from, from the decortication plant at the moment uh, in, in, in different size um, uh, particles. And this is the fibre that comes from the outside in the cleaned form into a fine pulp. So we've taken the bud, we've, uh, we've, we've uh, dried it out in a drying, in a drying room, uh, we're getting the seeds out of it and we're also getting the green, the dry material out of it. Now when it comes to hemp seeds, the hemp seeds basically has got two parts, it's got the hemp shell and it also has got the hemp seed which is the inside of the hemp seed. So uh, this one here 
is what you would be buying at, at the supermarket. Uh, it's great for breakfast, uh, it's also great on your cereal, it makes the best milk, it makes also makes cream and uh, ice cream as well at the same time. Uh, it's very very high on healthy fats, uh, on, on amino acids and it's got a lots of, lots of uh, goodness in there. doesn't contain any THC so you don't have to worry about being swabbed. On the outside of the shell you've got the hull. The hull gets ground down into a fine powder which then we call protein, uh, hemp protein. Hemp protein and, and hemp seeds both have got uh, over 30% of protein content which is kind of unusual for any, any other plant on the planet. Uh, you don't need your meat, uh, all you really need is hemp uh, to start your day off healthy. Um, also, of course, you make great cookies uh, with hemp and hemp seeds, uh, which have got an uplifting effect uh, as well, and it also helps you balance your digestive system at the same time. And you can mix anything you like, from the nuts to the to the chocolate, whatever you 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 choose. Well, guys, what did you think? What a great tour! Very educational. Great to know all about hemp, mate. It was a pleasure being on the farm and showing us around. Well, well, thank you for coming and uh, thank you for sharing and also uh, thank you for helping us spread the gospel of hemp uh, worldwide really uh, to, to, to just encourage people to look into hemp and growing hemp and using hemp as an alternative to whatever else we got out there that's not really quite good for you. Uh, hemp is a great product and you'll never re regret educating yourself on it. Sounds great guys. Don't go away. I'm back to the festival. It's day two. It's going to go off. Three days of fun and festive here at Mardi Gras, here at Nimbin. Don't go away. See you soon. See ya. If you're driving your car and the police find that there is THC present in your survivor, leave aside whether it's affecting you or not. I've got some leniency from the registrar. Join in. It's only by taking action that we'll change these laws. That's what we've been talking about all weekend. We talk a bit here, but we have to act as well. Action starts with you, yes. There's a large, the first action you can take after moving the plant is join in, join on the end, come to the rally, take steps to change these ridiculous laws, be part of us changing it. Thanks very much, Steve. One of the other speakers is here from California this weekend, Adela Volk, and she's with a group called POW 420, which is an advocacy group.
I'm totally against the legalisation of marijuana. It'll be the end of my sex life. I'll never get cavity searched again. Free the weed! Free the weed! It's on Google! They know it all! Endocannabinoid system, CBD, THC is a funny one. And that's so bad, they go out and bash all the people. That's why we have the riot squad here. Because we need it! We are so ugly and angry all the time! Because we're criminals! And we've got it! chronic pain. I suffer no more. All because of medical cannabis. No more opiates. Goodbye. The pharmaceutical industry is broken. CBD products gave me my life back. Oh my Prohibition 
and I'll see you next year maybe again with another big, huge festival. Mardi Gras, see you later Pete, Pete and Surferoo.